God bless America. Hello, everybody. I am the Talk Radio Protégé. This is the Protégé program. We're almost to the weekend. This is the last video that you have to watch before you get to take uh, the weekend to just unplug, forget about politics, forget about the news. However, this video is going up early. It's the biggest news story of the day, so this might be the only video that I do today. Uh, just make sure that you hit the bell for notifications and subscribe to this channel so that you don't miss a notification if I upload another video later this evening. But this uh, story, Michael Flynn pleads guilty to lying to FBI in a Mueller probe. This is the big hoobla. This is the Big Mac. This is the qu quadruple whopper. This is the double double quarter pounder. This is the burger to end all news burgers, according to the drive-by media. In my opinion, this is the baby burger that they give kids in Happy Meals to play with, and it's not really for eating. This is not as big a deal as the mainstream media is making it out to be, but this is the big story of the day, so it does need to be talked about. And it is somewhat breaking. Uh, these are somewhat recent developments. Just last night, this was a rumor. This morning, it's reality. So let's get into it. The charges being brought against Flynn are, depending on how you count it, two or four statements made to the FBI that were false. Uh, Flynn falsely claimed that he had not asked Kislyak on December 29th to restrain from escalating the situation in response to sanctions that the U.S. had imposed against Russia. You'll recall those sanctions were the, expel the expulsion of uh, Russian officials from the United States of America by Barack Obama in response to the phony Russian uh, influence on the United States presidential election. Uh, the other false statements surround uh, Flynn asking Kislyak on December 22nd to delay a vote on or defeat a UN Security Council resolution and then falsely denied that Kislyak had described Russia's response to the request. Now, the way I understand how this resolution was supposed to go, it was supposed to be something that was going to happen against Israel, something that was going to be bad for Israel, something that's happening on the eve of the United States of America administration changing hands. Uh, these resolution was probably going to be something that Trump couldn't just wave away uh, once he got into office, so I can understand him wanting to delay that. Uh, remember, the Mueller probe and the FBI have the calls that Flynn made to Kislyak, and they've already determined that there's nothing incriminating in the calls themselves. So it's there's nothing about the calls that they've determined is wrong or illegal. It's just the fact that Flynn told them that he didn't make the calls that he's being charged on. Now over to CNBC, because apparently none, none of these news outlets decided to put the whole story on a single page. Uh, over to CNBC, we have a statement that Flynn made after appearing uh, for his hearing where he said, It's been extraordinarily painful to endure these many months of false accusations of treason and other outrageous acts. So Flynn is still denying the treason part. This is why the, uh, the mainstream media is wrong about the uh, impact of this story. Uh, Flynn has... Uh, confessed, I guess is one way to put it, to lying to the FBI, and that's it. Uh, nothing else that he's done has been treasonous in nature. Nothing else that he's done has been counter to the interests of the United States of America. It's just false statements. That's all the problem that he's having right now. But the White House reaction, we're getting conflicting reports from the mainstream media, Back over to the NBC News story, uh, where the NBC News source says that the developments regarding Flynn are very, very bad. A, a very, very, very bad. That's like super de duper ultra serious bad when you use three varies. But you go to the CNN story that's been run on this development, and you go down here to their reports of... Uh, 
the White House reaction. How far down the page is this? Okay. Um, one person familiar with the mood in the West Wing insisted top White House officials are breathing a sigh of relief. People in the building are very happy. This doesn't lead back to Trump in any way, shape, or form. Uh, further indication, there's nothing there. This is a win for the White House. Uh, a source with knowledge of the legal team's thinking it says it's not going to be a problem. Uh, there was an official statement from the White House in this column initially. I guess they removed it, where um, someone... Uh, Another person had said that Flynn's statements implicate only Flynn uh, in these in this development thus far. And uh, people that are smarter than me, in particular Andy McCarthy over at the National Review, have concluded that this is similarly not as big a deal as the mainstream media is making it out to be. Uh, McCarthy is a former prosecutor. And he had this to say in regards to uh, what we should expect coming out of Flynn in the future in regards to uh, Russian collusion. Uh, when a prosecutor has a cooperator who is an accomplice in a major criminal scheme, the cooperator is made to plead guilty to the scheme. This is critical because it proves the existence of the scheme in his guilty plea, plea allocution uh, the accomplice explains the scheme and the actions taken by himself and his co-conspirators to carry it out. This goes a long way towards proving the case against all the subjects of the investigation. None of that, none of that has happened in the Michael Flynn case. Flynn has uh, pled guilty only to his own actions and false statements that he made. Uh, now, I've heard in other uh, places that Flynn has said that he made the calls to Kislyak at the direction of President Trump. However, the FBI has had the calls, Mueller has had the calls on hand for months now, and they've determined that there was nothing wrong with the conversations that were made, or the conversation that happened as results of those calls. So there's nothing to implicate President Trump because the calls happened. There's nothing to implicate President Trump because he ordered Flynn to make the calls. The only implications that are happening here are Flynn lied about making the calls and about, I guess, further correspondence as a result of the initial calls. There's nothing to implicate President Trump there's a possibility, I suppose, of implicating other associates of Trump. But there's nothing against President Trump in these developments. That's why I call it not much of a burger. But because Flynn has flipped and is cooperating with the Mueller investigation, that's why the mainstream media is calling this a huge double quarter pounder, the biggest burger that we could have imagined. But let me know what you guys think. In the comments, tell me what your thoughts are. Do you think that this is a big deal? Do you think this is the breaking, the breakthrough point uh, for the Russian collusion investigation? Or is this a nothing burger in your mind? I've called uh, stories that have as much impact as this in the past vegan burgers. Is this a vegan burger? to you, or is this the Big Mac, the BLT, the whole shebang, the whole hoopla? Uh, most, most importantly, leave a like if you enjoyed this video, subscribe, and hit the bell for notifications, because there's potential for another video coming from my channel later today, and you won't want to miss it. Also, we'll be coming back on Monday with new reports, so tune in again next time. Until then, enjoy your weekends, and God bless.